Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
two stars orbiting around their common base center. Now, don't get mixed up with a double star system. We're talking about a binary star system. Systems of two or more stars are called multiple star systems. These systems, especially when more distant, often appear to the unaided eye as a single point of light. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys is why we're seeing one object. It looks like we see one object, but they are revealed as multiple objects by other means and they don't tell us how, but that's what I'm trying to do. And that's with the success research over the last two centuries suggests that half or more of all visible stars are actually multiple star systems. So when you're looking at a star in the sky and you go, look at that bright star, it could be a solar system, a galaxy, or some kind of a system that is far more large than our own entire solar system. The binary star system, Sirius, is not a small star system. Sirius A, just one of the stars inside of the star system, is far more massive than our own sun right here in our solar system. While you're looking at the explosions and we're coming up to the star uh, a lot closer with the 14 inch, I'm going to talk about right ascension and declination. Every time somebody comes here, they ask me for those coordinates. What is that? <laughs> proper motion and why people are asking me about that is that proper motion is the astronomical measure of the observed changes in the apparent places of stars. The components for proper motion in the equatorial coordinate system of a given epoch are given in the direction of right ascension and of declination. Their combined value is computed as the total proper motion. It has dimensions of angle per time, allows calculations of true stellar motion or velocity in space in respect to the sun and by coordinate transformation the motion in respect to the Milky Way. So we're looking right beside Sirius, a star system, which is again, a binary star, star system, several stars. Look at what we're seeing, but here's the thing. One of these flashes has a shape. The other ones do not, or we could not see them. And we just saw something that looked a square-ish, right? It does have a form, it has a form or shape. And this is what I'm trying to do documenting those flashes. I'm telling you guys, the flashes are different. And now look, do you notice that the flashes are different? Yeah, I could be turning the screen around, right? No, look at the star, the way it's billowing and it's the same all through the frame. Yet the flashes of lights are appearing in different areas around Sirius star. I think it's pretty incredible that I started filming it for whatever the reason a couple days ago. Now here, 4388, a Jurgen is going to pass by today, February 18th, tonight. So while you guys are watching this, I'm on the internet trying to find the exact location of uh, asteroid 4388 and exactly when is gonna come here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the details. This is not bad at all to give you an idea of how we'll be able to see stars and their magnetic fields around them. Just absolutely beautiful. So here it is, a 14 inch telescope with the D Nikon 850, taking a close look at what is possibly Sirius. But we're gonna go see what it looks like with the D3400, also an extra, when I filmed it in 2017, Sirius star system. Look at the differences. This is a lot clearer than what you're gonna go see later with the D3400, which is still very beautiful. But here's the thing. This star system, we could see so well in all the details right now. So I'm gonna give you guys some information about Sirius star system while you're looking at it. I wanna be the first to bring you guys this amazing news. There's an asteroid today that's going by this star system, Sirius star system. I don't know what time it's going by, I'm gonna to have to do more research, but get this, Sirius is going to go dark for two or three seconds. While that asteroid goes by the Sirius star system, it will block its light entirely. Something I don't think has ever happened in history. In ancient Egyptian times, during the rise of Sirius 
in the summer sky, it was also a sign for them that the Nile River would rise along with it. In the past, history revolves around this star Sirius as it is one of the closest stars to Earth. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about that asteroid on its way tonight, 4388 Jurgenstock. Now, the time's going to be different. Some people are going to see it on the 19th. Some for us here in Canada, I believe the Northern Hemisphere in Canada, the parts where I am in Montreal, I think I should see it this evening, but I don't know if it's before the sun goes down. And that's the thing. I really wish I could try and uh, get this. 4388, it's a provisional designation, 1964 VE. A bright, uh, why, why is it called that? It was discovered in 1964. It's a bright Fokaya asteroid from the inner regions of the asteroid belt, approximately 4.7 kilometers, which is 2.9 miles in diameter. What is a Fokaya asteroid? It is a collisional family of asteroids located between 2.25 and 2.5 um, astronomical units in the inner region of the asteroid belt. Fokaya asteroids are of stony S-type composition. And they're saying this one looks square or roundish, I think. It's estimated age of the family of asteroids that 4388 is from is of 2.2 billion years and derives its name from its most massive member, 25 Fakaya, which is about 75 kilometers in diameter. That's another asteroid. These asteroids are all Mars crossers. They all pass in front of Mars to these, this family of Fakaya asteroids. Now, here's the thing. I mean, by the research I'm doing, by really studying a lot about the asteroids and where they are going, it's not easy to do it alone, of course, but I, we can catch glimpses of these asteroids in the live footage. It's what I'm going to be doing and testing with the telescope. I'm really positive about it, guys, um, that I'm, we're going to be seeing a lot of beautiful stars mysterious objects and now don't forget you know planets and a bunch of other things galaxies black holes these all have um an apparent color and form and they can be seen you just have to recognize them 